Oh well, guys, this is uh, HBAC Life with Mike uh, once again. I didn't make a video no longer, so I'm deciding to make this video today. Uh, what I'm up, what I'm, I'm about to do is I'm gonna be working on this small unit. It's a wall bangler or uh, brand bar unit. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, replace the compressor. The compressor is bad not coming on uh, the reason of that because what I found is uh, there's something you said I put to taste it but this wire here was a, a little bit pe peeled off and it was touching uh, this yellow white wire right there so <clears throat> let me see if I can get it closer so what happened these two wires were touching together so that messed up this compressor and now the compressor doesn't want to come out the ratings are not good neither uh when i check it with the meter so i'm gonna i'm just gonna go ahead and replace it i don't have that much of space in here but uh, i'm gonna try my best i'm by myself today it's kind of hard whenever you're by yourself um uh, the new compressor i already have i went and got it it's right here so I'm getting all my equipment ready and we'll see how the, this goes. So uh, I'm going to let y'all know in the next video whenever I'm done and, and kind of explain the process uh, that I had to do with this. Uh, the first step that I have to do is taking the Freon out of the system uh, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I'll see you back uh, the next video that i'm gonna put together all right all right guys so um, right now what i'm doing is i'm recovering the freon out of the system i already got my gauges hooked up hooked up uh, got my recovery recovery machine and my recovery tank um <clears throat> so jack if you can see i have the, the blue one on the suction side and the red one on the liquid side or however you want to call it and then the, I have both open because it doesn't have that much Freon on it um, so my Freon is coming in <clears throat> through the red one and it's coming in through the blue one and it's going all the way to the yellow one going into the recovery machine and then coming coming out from that hole going into my recovery tank so whenever I'm done uh, I'm gonna, whenever I'm done taking all the Freon out, so my next step is gonna be, uh, I don't know how to say it, but uh, the soldering, I don't know how to say it, but I'm, I gotta take this out uh, with the soldering the equipment, and then I, I need to take this one off, and then I need to lose the compressor and pull it out. I'm gonna see how am I gonna do it. I don't know what, what would be the easiest way to do it, so I'm gonna try to find out the easiest way to do it. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys. So uh, this is Mike again. Uh, with, uh, continuing with the video. I just came back from lunch. Uh, these are the wires that I'm gonna be putting on the compressor. The compressor already in. I'll show you in a little bit. This is the crankcase heater. That I have to wire up and then this is the new uh, plot that I'm gonna wire up or start coming around uh, something simple not hard uh, <clears throat> I went to lunch and what I did is uh, I left the compressor in vacuum if you can see so when the third has been like that for 15 minutes already so it seems to be really good it's not a big unit so if it was leaking that thing would have been moving already a long time ago. This is the compressor. So my gate chest already unplugged the vacuum and everything. I even already put it away. Uh, so now I'm just going to wire everything back. I'm going to put, like I said, the new wires in. I'm going to take all the old wires out and I'm going to put new wires on it. And after that, I'm going to put some R22 on it and, and I'm going to see if it's going to run or not. Hopefully it does. This is a brand new one. All right, guys. Uh, we will see you back uh, whenever I have this thing running.
so everything's wired up together uh, it took me i don't even know how long probably like 10 minutes uh, and my pressure still still the same still under zero uh, so that's really good that means we don't have no leaks so that's great news so <clears throat> real quick uh this is the new plug for the new compressor uh the good thing is i was showing in the video tells you right here each color of the wire uh if one is common one is wrong one is star uh, i forgot to say but uh, this is single single phase compressor um put it on put new crankcase heater in the bottom uh it has a new um capacitor new capacitor right here and all the new wires coming in uh this is the star wire your star wire always go to your always go, goes to your capacitor star wire goes to your capacitor and this is my run and this is my common um this is my run and common coming from the the compressor and those goes on your um contact and then i have here in the top i have the crankcase heater so this crankcase heater is on all the time whenever uh your compressor is not running and that helps the oil to keep the oil warm and it will help your compressor a lot to last longer have a longer life so i'm i'm about to put some freon on and turn this thing on and see and see what happens there Put my wires all together like i like to uh, have everything together presentation uh counts a lot to me presentation is everything and i always try to do best i can i'm not perfect but i try to do the best i can some guys they just come and put the wires all the way they want it not me i like to have everything together i put tie wraps on it and man it's hot out here live in Texas it's really hot I'm sweating like crazy I'm ready to get inside the van with some AC after I'm done with this all right we'll see you back in a little bit more all right guys so well I have the unit on you can hear it with the compressor so I went inside really cold air coming out already oh it's even gonna get better as soon as the room start cooling down because right now the room is still hot but there's some cold air already coming out and you can feel the difference already in the room but still hot uh it's gonna get way better uh what i did is uh i checked the name plate uh to see how much you uh how much uh freon does this this unit takes say 68 ounces which is uh, uh about four pounds a little bit more than four pounds um it's r22 so what i did is i use my weight that's the best way to do it when you have an empty unit and if you go to a name plate the best way for you to do this wait wait uh don't base yourself on, on pressures and stuff like that you just put whatever the name plate is telling you and you won't have any problem uh even though if you put what the the, the name plate is telling you and you have like bad pressures uh, you might have another problem still uh, what I noticed on mine is I have uh, kind of high pressures for to be a, uh, a 22 as you can see I'm close to 80 on the suction and I'm over here close to a 350 on the hit head it's not that bad to be because it's really hot out here like almost 100 degree outside uh, but I did notice that the condenser and the evaporator because I looked at it uh, earlier today They're a little dirty So once I clean the, the condenser and the evaporator, I'm sure that's gonna help a lot um, Plus the room inside is still hot. So that's gonna Whenever that that room start get, getting colder, uh, that's gonna bring my pressure down as well because right now the unit is taking a lot of heat it's trying to take all the heat out of the of the room so that's basically it uh i don't know if, if i show you the old
compressor but it's here this is my old compressor i have a lot of bunch of stuff today on my van man i've been busy this it's uh summer uh, if you work on these things you know how how it gets in summer in this area in texas uh, if you work in another area where it, where it gets really hot well you know how it is especially when it's humid and here where i live man humidity is really bad uh so this is the old guy they didn't want to come out time that i checked it so now we have a brand new one way better running all right hope y'all like the video you already know if you like it thumbs up I, ho I hope one day i can record the whole process when i'm soldering and all that but uh for now it's just a little bit of how how it is to be in the hvac life uh, it's pretty fun uh it's really challenging sometimes uh what i did today was something simple just changing a small compressor uh by myself because that that small really didn't need any help uh, obviously help is always better but uh, today i was by myself so all right guys i hope you like the video like i said uh thumbs up subscribe if you like it uh comment put any comments of your experiences and how you like hbs your HVAC uh, experience uh, if you work on this on on HVAC tell us about it uh, what do you think about it um, you know it might help some some other people all right guys I hope you have a good one uh, I'll see you back uh, soon